So I'm kind of a creature of habit. And one thing I like to eat every day is broccoli, like frozen broccoli. So today I want to show you how, how I make it. So a couple of things we need. Um, I'll use olive oil. We have some garlic powder. And what I prefer to use, it's called Uncle Chris's Gourmet Steak Seasoning. I don't know if it's a local thing just in San Antonio or Texas where I'm at. Uh, it's made for steak, obviously. It contains salt, MSG, of course, garlic, onion, bell pepper, butter flavored, modified tapioca starch. It's interesting. And some other things. I guess any kind of steak seasoning would work, but here's how I make it. For the, so for the first step, what we do is I'll get my pan and I'll turn it just slightly above medium. So mine has dials dinky stove but so I'll put it between five and six get my olive oil and then coat the pan with it I don't measure it I just get it to where it's not too much but enough that when it's hot it's gonna coat the pan now with this I'll heat it at this for two minutes and then while I'm doing that so I'll kind of have everything ready so let it let it heat for two minutes okay so for the next step I'll add the broccoli now I prefer frozen and I prefer not having shadows in this, but anyway, I couldn't tell you if it works for fresh broccoli, but uh, it's usually too expensive and I eat a lot of it, so I'll get the frozen. Uh, with the frozen, what you want to do is, well, for one, make sure your oil uh, just kind of tilts your pan so it's, it's coating the pan, and then go ahead and add the frozen broccoli. Now you want to add enough that it fills the pan without overfilling it. And then what you'll do is I'll kind of scoop underneath it and then flip it around just that way it's ideally coated um, everywhere. I'm not sure if this helps the spices stick to it or what, but uh, it's just the way I do it. So then once you flip it, I just kind of push it down so it's one layer and then I'll add some spices. So we'll get old Uncle Chris, start with him first. And get that on the top layer. And then after that, you want to do the same with the garlic powder. And once that's on there, see it's just kind of on the top portion. I'll again get underneath, flip it around, and ideally get it uh, to where what's facing upwards is the broccoli that doesn't have any uh, spices on it. Then once you get that, you just repeat the step as far as adding the spices again. So the steak seasoning, followed by the garlic powder. And then once you get that, you're gonna go ahead and flip it around just to kinda mix it up again. And then after that, I'll go ahead and set the timer for six minutes. And then what you want to do periodically through this time is I usually let it cook for like maybe two minutes and then add more steak seasoning, flip it around, two minutes, add it again. For the garlic powder, I just use on the, on the first step. And then we just wait for six minutes. So after the initial six minutes, the next step is that you want to use some uh, chicken broth. You don't want to put too much. Again, man, it's just by, by feel. Um, but I usually put about about that much. Doesn't doesn't take much at all. And then I put the lid on it, leaving it at the same temperature, just a little over medium. I'll cook this for six more minutes been making broccoli like this for for years so this is just what I found works best and I have a affinity for number six so then at this point you're just gonna leave it six minutes and then don't open the the lid on it 
So at this point, you're pretty much done. Um, depending on if you like it soft or, or not. I mean, this is this is pretty soft. So I guess if you want it more firm, you do about five minutes. But I prefer it softer. So what I'll do is I'll open the lid and then kind of toss it a bit more just to get just to get a little bit more um, oil on it. And then you can maybe cook it like for another minute again, just depending ha how you like it. Just make sure to keep an eye on it, or else it can it can definitely stick uh, stick to the pan. So that's it. That's the way I make broccoli, and it's perfect to me.